Welcome to our YouTube Whiteboard Explainer on ISO 50001, 2018, the International Standard for Energy Management Systems. In the next few minutes, we'll break down everything you need to know about ISO 50001, from its definition to its benefits. So, let's dive right in. ISO 50001, 2018 is all about energy efficiency. It's a set of guidelines that help organizations like yours manage and optimize energy use, just like a recipe for a perfect dish ensures the right ingredients are used. ISO 50001 ensures you use energy wisely, making your operations more efficient. One key concept is the process approach. Instead of just focusing on isolated tasks, ISO 50001 encourages organizations to see their energy management as interconnected processes. Think of it like gears in a machine, working together smoothly to achieve a common goal, efficient energy use. ISO 50001 is based on seven key principles. Let's quickly go through each one. Emergency and sustainability planning. Commit to emergency preparedness, sustainability, and set objectives through policy development. Document management. Identify critical documents, establish procedures, and systematically improve document efficiency. Objective and evaluation criteria. Set performance indicators, objectives, and action plans for systematic improvement. Progress management. Implement processes, assign responsibilities, and provide training for effective progress management. Change management. Monitor progress, evaluate compliance, and take corrective actions for enhanced effectiveness. Solution of operational problems. Top management evaluates the system for ongoing suitability, adequacy, and effectiveness, fostering continuous improvement. Risk management. Identify risks, establish processes, and systematically improve risk mitigation strategies. Now, let's take a closer look at the sections included in the ISO 50001 framework, beginning with the open sections. Introduction. An overview of the standard's purpose and intent. Scope. Defines which parts of your organization are covered by ISO 50001. Normative references. Lists any external documents that should be considered alongside ISO 50001. Terms and definitions. A glossary to ensure everyone is speaking the same language. Now, let's dive into the main sections. Context of the organization. It's like setting the stage, understanding your business, your industry, and the specific aspects of energy efficiency. Leadership. The big bosses set the vision and direction for a more energy efficient future. Planning. It's like setting the stage, understanding your energy usage, identifying opportunities for improvement, and setting energy goals. Support. Resources and support systems are like the pillars holding up your energy efficiency structure. Moving on, the subsequent main sections are Operation. This is where energy efficient practices are put into action. Your team works in an energy conscious environment. Performance evaluation. Regular checkups to see how you're doing and if there's room for improvement in energy efficiency. Improvement. The icing on the cake. Taking what you've learned and making your organization more energy efficient. Imagine a manufacturing company implementing ISO 50001. They focus on strong leadership, involving workers in energy efficient practices, and regularly assessing energy related risks. By complying with energy regulations, they ensure a sustainable future. Their emergency planning guarantees resilience in the face of energy related disruptions. And by continually improving, they create an organization that prioritizes efficient energy use. So, why is ISO 50001 valuable? Here are some benefits. Energy efficiency. Optimize energy use. Cost savings. Streamline energy processes and lower energy related costs. Regulatory compliance. Align with energy regulations. 
Resilience. Prepare for energy emergencies. Environmental responsibility. Support sustainability and reduce carbon footprint. Continuous improvement. Cultivate a culture of continuous energy improvement. ISO 50001, 2018 may sound complex, but it's all about optimizing energy use, maintaining high standards, and making your organization more efficient. It's a roadmap to a sustainable energy future that anyone can follow. Thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel, and remember, energy matters.